Okay guys, welcome back. So we're going to touch on the brand new Stealth 2 plus Fairway Wood. Yeah. Uh, from Sim to uh, Sim 2 to Stealth, we had a story bringing back a uh, V-Sole. Yeah. We had the 80 gram plate in the sole. Um, you know, we really saw the benefit of getting that launch up and, you know, all three of those unbelievable Fairway Woods. We've went a different direction now with Stealth 2. Massively, massively refreshed. Obviously, I like to look at it from the top out the gate. It's a smallish looking head for yep. a fairway, which is great. Mm. Like you want that for a player's club. Mm. But when you get into the nuts and bolts of it, I mean, it says it straight there, a 50 gram movable weight that can go in and out of a garage that's basically underneath there. Right. That's how right. we like to talk about that. It's a titanium face, so you're gonna feel that. It's quite a firm feel off the face. But what you're gonna notice, and you've got it all the way back right now, this is gonna be spinny. Okay. Spinny being, we should see, depending on how you hit a fairway wood, but maybe like just over 4,000 revs on okay, this. Again, okay. all player dependent, but we've also got a loft sleeve we can yeah. adjust there. Now, to put that into terms of where we're at as a fitter, you want your three wood to hit a certain yardage, especially if you've got the ball speed you've got with driver. It probably puts you in a place where you might play four wedges, because okay. let's say you play a 67,000 yard golf course because you play with your pals, yep. not on tour. So yep. they always want to play maybe the tees just up. I feel like the three wood for most players is a place then if you mm -hmm. play four wedges where you need it to do a lot of work. Right. One week where you can play it with 4,000 spin, it's almost like a forward. It's yeah. going to come out with a steep, a high, a, a peak height and a steep land angle. So you've got that option. Then all of a sudden you unscrew this, you slide that movable weight forward, you put it in the middle position, it's a true 15. Right. It's a true back to the okay. models you already started talking about. It's going to come out with the flight you want. Mm -hmm. Then all of a sudden you play somewhere every day where your driver's not on or you go and play a golf course that's longer and you need this off the tee, uh -huh. you can slide it all the way forward and it comes out like a rocket. <laughs> Right. Yeah. Which, if you think about it, there's 50 grams there that you can move. What a great piece of engineering. That's, that's I mean, exactly we will amazing. see it in this yeah. test for sure, because I have seen it myself with everyone who's hit it, but it's just how versatile yeah. the thing is. Mm. So we really have two two ports to independently move move the flight. So we, we can't have the loft sleeve now for face angle. Correct. So we can manipulate face angle and, okay. and loft based on where we have the both, you know, we've got a single axis loft sleeve that's moving from flat all the way up, but changing face. Uh, and then we've got the, the sliding weight to change flight vertically. Correct, which will overrule or override. So if you have a player has a preference of yeah, a face yeah. angle, but you need a spin number, right. then you just slide the bar back and forward. I mean, and do the sliding of the bar yourself, because it's worth just covering that. So you unscrew, and then you see at the back, it has this little notch where you can put the wrench yeah, in. If to... you're really struggling with it, then hold it the other way up, but you should Got see. It. Yeah, yeah. So it's simple, and yeah. that's the other great thing about it. And then you can go middle, you can go back, and you can go wherever you need. I mean, you're someone, Matt, we've, we've actually done a little bit of this recently. Yes, we we found that um, Stealth was, was really good on launch for Matt, but really low in spin. Just CG so low. Yeah. Uh, you know, that, that kind of centre strike would launch good, but just would just gear back down. Yep. This is going to be a game changer for you. Yep. It is. It's going to be game changer for player here, game changer on tour, game yeah. changer for anyone watching. And it's not just the only fairway wood in the lineup. I'm sure you guys will cover the other stuff, but right. yeah. we've got a whole new product in there in the HD, and then we've got this Stealth 2 fairway wood as well. So I'm excited to yeah. see this one, Trotty. Let's okay. have it. Let's hit some. That felt really good. You've launched that really nicely. The face was a little open, so you've you've definitely gained some height. Okay. Where, where did we put the loft to in that one there, Trotty? This is standard you loft at the, the moment. Loft. We haven't moved the loft, but... Okay. That's better. That's really good. That's a nice flight. That's got to be right in the kind of, what, 31, 32 window? That's what it looks like. 33. 33, okay. That's really good, too. That would be more what I'd better. expect to see on the visual. Yeah, that, that flat. I think one. I struck that better. Okay. See what the spin is on that. 32. What yeah. That's nice. It's a very easy shot, isn't it? That's what the that fairway wood flight should look that like. That felt great, yeah. So now you're starting to gain on the carry, Matty, because it's up there and it's hanging up there. Pretty nice. A little bit of shape from the toe strike, yeah. but good flight. Yeah, it's definitely kicked the spin up a little bit. 3,500 uh, on the spin, launched at nine. Okay. That was really good. 
And that's a good point, like subconsciously. And I, I, that's why I like to look at ball flight. Yeah. That is good. Cause, but subconsciously, you're always going to hit the shot that a player wants to hit. To me, that was like, squeeze it. that was probably the best one. I know it's maybe not perfect yeah. numbers. But I think that's why you're seeing low launches because you're squeezing it into squeezing it. It's hard it, yeah. to get someone to launch one when there's a bit of breeze. Yeah, you find really the middle of the you golf go. club. There you, go. you know that's what I mean? Yeah, I think lovely. I feel like you're searching for the for the face. So that off a little bit of a tee peg helped me get the strike higher. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and moving that ball back a little. See, it's that's good. acceptable. It's a little yeah. left, but good. Yeah. I mean, on that grid, um, you know, that we've got on this this track, uh, I love that the, the garage where the, the weight kind of slides forward. I, I think we would probably want it a little further forward. Yeah, you know, maybe for one notch. Just a little. Yeah. Do you want to do one last week? But it week? changes based on how you're hitting it. That's today totally. here in this breeze. Yeah, that's right. That was really good too. A little left, but... I, I like it. I think you're hypercritical on, you're saying little left. It's a three wood. Yeah. What are these going, 260, 270? 270. So that's 270 the best one. and you that was. just missed the green yeah. on the yeah. left. Yeah, I would say yeah. this is probably the, but that, sorry, that last shot was probably the best. This is probably the best setup. Yeah. One I'm notch forward. Best then, setup for right now. For right now. That's for the right key. Now. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's yeah. like, I would then be talking to you like, where are we playing, where are we going? And that thing can be moved. Yeah. My takeaway is previous years, uh, the titanium, heavy weight at the bottom three woods that you guys have made i've never been able to even sniff them like nope. ian wouldn't bother giving it to me nope. this one is one i could actually play with have the weights near the back and i i actually could play this three wood because no it's functional ball flights so i like that i like that yeah change. you're very spin sensitive like that's what i yeah. noticed yeah. with you and yeah. like you react to that as a player yeah i agree and i think the the key point for me in this fitting and i think if anyone's watching this who's a fitter rather than someone who wants to just immediately hit i loved what you said about getting away from this like yeah. this i don't often fit in this set setup like right. i would just have that totally and i would probably have it on my phone and it would be in my pocket just and it's against my because you just i get it you're in this every day but you're letting it impact shot to shot to shot sure. yep I it's agree. very easy we, we, i mean we're, we're kind of the, the role and the job is to be hypercritical yeah. of every nuance so we can go okay well this is subtly different from the previous year and but all you that have to stuff. allow confidence to grow and like yeah. the shot he's hit, that's a good shot, it's mate. Beauty. It's yeah. a beauty. It's a good shot. It's a beauty. I mean, that was the, that was the best of the day. Uh, launch at 10, 32 spin, 95 peak height. What more do you want from yeah. the three wood? Blue 260. Oh, was, that. that was everything. Yeah. yeah, I'd love that yeah. one. I like it. I think it's good. Like, I'm excited about this three wood. I think to the point that we opened up with, you've got a fairway wood, you're going into a season, you want to have yeah. options. On the tour, you need options. As totally. a consumer, you want options. You might play different golf courses. You might play in the mountains at one point totally. where the altitude's different. You need all yeah. these options. Options. It's a great looking head. It is. It's a it good one a to be head. leading out with. Yeah, yeah. Yep. It's a true Swiss Army knife. It's got tons of adjustability. That weight track, we've still got FCT. Yeah. We've, we've got a bunch of things that we can work with. It's here a very, for us very exciting golf club yeah. going into 23 with for sure. Yeah. We'll look forward to doing a little more tweaking when we get home because this is one I'd actually consider. Yeah. But how yeah. good is that though in the sense that you can interact with it as a player and then totally. based on your stats and based on what you're getting with, you can though. tweak it again. Know, and you haven't got to go to a whole new yeah. golf club. That's yeah. the best. No, thing so it. much adjustability. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Throw your golf ball, you know, down where we're playing X's today. We were chatting about we might want to try yeah. and encourage a little more, yeah. more spin from the With ball the and stuff like that. Just give us options to slide the, the kind of ball flight in a different direction, allow us to play with the head slightly differently. It's very easy, though, as well on golf ball fitting, like just to round this up. You can make this part really work. So if you were hooked on the feel and the spin off the X around the greens, uh -huh. personally, and I'm sure you'd be the same, mm. I'd make this work yes. for this oh, ball. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. if some, but a lot of players, they love that soft feel on a five and yeah. they don't want to give it up, the TP5 totally. and the, and the yeah. touch around the greens. So then you've got to make this work to that. Yeah. Makes sense. Exactly. All, all, all kind of works on where you start with your wedges and then you go from there. Exactly. Yeah. You can, guys, you can see how intricate the puzzle is when you start talking. I mean, we're talking about one club and the ball, and then we're really, we're thinking about what does Everything, it do with the yeah, wedge. And, exactly. You know, you've got to make it work all the way around. You guys have heard us talk about that. So, um, excited to get this yeah. one back in the bay. Very impressed with that. Yeah. I would like to hit some more when we get home. Okay, definitely. All right, guys, more to come with this. Stay tuned. We'll see you again soon.